A man is dead and another in custody after a stabbing last night in Ivole. Some say the murder highlights a growing problem of violent crimes committed by houseless individuals. Jen Beniza has more. It happened late last night here on Ivole Road, just around the corner from the Institute for Human Services. A spokesperson for IHS said the victim was a client of theirs. Witnesses say the suspect chased the victim and stabbed him multiple times, less than a block from the IHS men's shelter. IHS says the victim and suspect knew each other, and the victim was staying at IHS. Police arrested the 42-year-old suspect several blocks away not long after the alleged stabbing. IHS says the suspect had been staying in the men's shelter but was asked to leave for not following the rules. The suspect came to our shelter recently, um, having moved here from the mainland around Christmas time. And um, as we understand it, he had recently been released from prison on the mainland, uh, found his way here to Oahu and um, was homeless, and so found his way to our men's shelter. As an emergency shelter, they provide a second chance for people without any other options. Especially when we talk about people coming from the mainland, we just don't have a lot of information about their histories. Um, and that makes us and our guests, you know, vulnerable. Wright says she has noticed an uptick in violence among the unsheltered homeless community. At IHS, they do everything possible to provide a safe environment for their clients, but they can only do so much. Unfortunately, in this case, again, the, the suspect had already moved out of the shelter, and so we just could, really couldn't anticipate that that would happen in the middle of the night. Senator Carl Rhodes says many of the houseless population are reluctant to get help. There are elements over there that they're not just... Um, uh, they're not just substance abusers and or mentally ill. They're just bad people. They don't want to. They don't want help. They've been offered help multiple, multiple times, and unfortunately, you have a, some percentage of them that are just criminals. It's darn frightening, and, and it is very dangerous uh, passing through here. You are in the ghetto, Skid Row, Skid Row. According to Rhodes, the only way to prevent more violence is to increase police patrols, improve police response times, and for community members to be more vigilant by calling 911 when they see something wrong. The suspect in Friday's murder remains in police custody. Jen Boniza, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.